Hey everybody, welcome to my yarn room. My name is Ginger, I am the Yarn Geek, and I am here to show you my new and improved, slightly somewhat more organized yarn room. Now, that being said, there still is a lot of, I would say, overpackedness going on in my room. And I've decided what the thing is. I need to get a, get a good flow going in. I have a lot coming in and I don't have as much going out. So um, I've got a few ways that I'm going to solve that problem. <laughs> but I'll tell those to you later. Right now, um, I'm going to take you on a tour of my yarn room. And um, keep in mind, the plants aren't everywhere that they're going to be uh, when, I, when I get them in their winter spots. Just because, like, we got a great big new plant. That's that one back there. And uh, it just takes a while. Sometimes it takes a while. And also, I haven't given them their haircuts so far yet. I haven't given them their fall haircuts. So they're looking a bit shaggy, but they are still beautiful. So what I'm going to do is flip my camera around and show you guys my room. Okay, well that is that side of my room right now. It, it, as you can see, I've put the couch over there on that side of the room with the chair and a whole bunch of whips and stuff and scrap yarn in between them. Now my goal is to get rid of the pile of whips and scrap yarn. That is one of my goals. But let me start over here on this side of the room and uh, let you know what's going on. Of course, I still have the stack of whips back in the back. I don't know if you can see all the way down, but yes, they go all the way down to the ground. They're being camouflaged by the plant right now. And when you look back from it, it looks like a pretty organized area, just like there's some plants in front of a bunch of crates. <laughs> but um, yeah, those seven crates I need to do something with. They can't just sit there doing nothing. So, and this right here, this whole area right here is of course one of my lamps going, oh, that plant. I'm so sorry, you guys. Those little shoe boxes are shoe boxes I've gotten from Michael's and they have, uh, you know, various things like buttons in them. And that is my little organizer that has buttons, stitch markers, anything little, needles, like, you know, little sewing needles. So that's what that little thing is. And it keeps things pretty organized. Now that <laughs> is a plant pad that I made. Okay, so going on, I've got to, I've got to find a different place for this plant. But anyway, I've got, all of my Karen cakes in one spot, starting right there and going down to right there. Those are my Karen things. Now, below that, going down here, is my Bernat yarns. And we're not counting the stuff on the right side of the screen. Let me see if I can... Yeah, that might be better. Okay. There are my Karen things. Right there. Three shelves kind of up to the ceiling. And then going down, I have Bernat. And then if you want to go even further and look down there, <laughs> the shelf of yarn just continues. But those are like 
from mystery bags and there are various different yarns. I'm not sure where they're all from. So there's that. Now, up here, up on the right, I have loops and threads. And those are going all the way down that little column. They're like big skeins of loops and threads. And of course, over on the right, over here, you probably recognize. I'll start up at the top. Now those are, I'm not sure where those are from, those cakes up there. They're like from Hobie or something. And I'm not sure exactly what those are. Um, but they're wrapped up and they're staying pretty neat up there. <laughs> so I just put them up there. I'm leaving them up there. Now these are red hearts. There's some Huga, various red hearts, red hearts, red heart ombre, some red heart Italian story, some sparkly red heart. And oh yeah, if you look in here, you'll see where my window is. Yep, there's my window. And of course, I made that little baby sweater with that blue yarn. And then just like the other, going down, there are more loops and threads on the right, a little more right there, and more red heart on the left. Ta-da! Okay. Going up here, there are, it's kind of a jumbled mix. There's some Premier, that's pretty much what all those school colors are. Um, that's some kind of, on the right, like Bumbo or something. I forget what it's called. I'll have to call my mom and ask, but it's not from Premier. Going down, those are Premier yarns. That whole, almost the whole box on the left is Premier yarns from Dollar Tree, which reminds me, I need to go to Dollar Tree. Um, <laughs> going down, because Mel from Hook to the Left just got some new Premier yarns from Dollar Tree, and they are fall colors, and I've got to go look for those. Okay, now going down that whole, those tall two crates behind my Mandala Groot and my, um, oh gosh, what is it, Darn Good Yarn box are all homespun back behind those yarns. So from the top of the shelf right there. And aren't those little balls cute? Yeah, that was that good $10 deal that was um, normally $125, $10. I got three. <laughs> okay, going down here. This is a little mix, too. This is uh, got some Premier Coffee Shop. Uh, all my yarn from Heather is in there that she sent me in Happy Mail. That's the, the Cash Silk Boucle is what I'm going to make my my Heather shawl out of. And then it goes back a little further. I'm not gonna dig around in it because I don't want to disrupt, but there's my curiosity. I think I pretty much got a cowl that I'm gonna make of that. The Revolutions Universal, I'm not sure. I think in a shawl or a cowl, I'm not sure. And then I've got my, uh, some more just random little balls of Lion Brand. The ombre, just my stripe, kaboo, tweedledee, and then here's my, uh, like my knit crate yarns, my little more expensive hand dyed yarns. I've got some, uh, Plymouth yarn hot cakes, and you can see a, uh, Northern Lights kind of, I've started something with it, and I haven't finished something with it. And those are just random, um, Random watchamajiggers. What are they called? Skeins of yarn. And this is my whole, my whole to-do list. Well, not my whole to-do list, but part of my to-do list right now. Okay, going up here, I've got my Lion Brand Pound of Loves up at the top. Up at the top and some other Lion Brand, I think like ice cream and stuff like that over on the left. And then Lion Brand, Lion Brand, Lion Brand, Lion Brand, Lion Brand. 
lion brand and down to the bottom lion brand. So, oh, and there's Hunter and Willie when they were little. <laughs> it's kind of a blurry picture. So yeah, I've got all my lion brand all in once. Well, okay, I take that back a little because I do on this shelf, like I told you before, this is a hundred year old house and it's got this cool shelf built into the wall and it's just wide enough to fit little tiny balls of little tiny skeins of yarn um here i'll show you what i mean like all the like Patton's grace fits perfectly whoops fits perfectly on that shelf so you see how narrow it is now i've got and pretty much every single yarn I have is something that was on sale or on clearance. I just collect it. And then I know that I'll have something I can use at some point in time. So that's kind of a mix of all the little yarns I have. Most of these are cotton, but there are some acrylic. And they go down, down there. And then, oh, I still have on those shelves down there, I have yarn that I unpacked from uh, Kim from Unfor Affordably Crafty when we had that live yarn swap. And I've got those there, and I don't think you can s will be able to see those very well, but I've got, I've got some more on that shelf right there on the chair side of the shelf. And these are some flowers my, hus my husband got me. Oh, and there's the cat food on the right. <laughs> and this is a picture of me and my husband about 10 years ago. That's us. And pretty flowers. Okay. Now we're gonna head over to this side of the room. This side of the room. <laughs> okay, that plant's gonna stay there. The plant in the corner is gonna stay there, but that big ficus is not going to stay there. Let me show you what this side of the room looks like. It's kind of hard to see because I don't have my, the lighting isn't perfect, but that's that side of the room. And let's walk over here. I'll walk through my jungle. I've got whips up to the ceiling in the corner, going down, going down, going down, they're like whip blankets, all the way down to, to there. So whip blankets and whips and stuff. And then over here, this is my Hobby Lobby shelf. And I've got all my Hobby Lobby yarns. Let me back up just a little. Plant, I'm going to have to uh, commandeer some space here. Hobby Lobby. Whoops. Hobby Lobby. And mind you, the majority of this Hobby Lobby is from years of collecting Hobby Lobby clearance yarn. But And then the rest of it's like the 40% off coupons. So dun, 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 dun. Did I mention I rarely ever pay full price for yarn? It's just not something to be done. But yeah, so there's all that. Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I can get a better picture of that corner. Going down. My poor plant. It was outside all summer, but its back was to the wall, so that side grew and that side didn't. Okay. <laughs> now here's my desk. That's where my, oh my gosh, you cannot see. There, it's kind of coming in. I've got my desk set up right there, and of course there are whips and some finished blankets down below. And my two... uh what do you call them? Those darn good yarn boxes to the left. And here it's gonna be kind of wonky colors. I'm gonna see if I can go over here. I put two black shelves right there and then this solid oak thing we have on the top, 
And I'm going to put plants on top of that solid oak thing. I just haven't yet, but let me get some better light. Okay, in here, I just have various yarns that don't really, you know, don't belong to a big company. But I still have them, and I still love them. I'm going to do something with them. Same with over here. Now those are, see those up in the top are some Plymouth wool that I got on sale. There's the Noro. Remember when they had that Noro on sale for like $1.50 a skein at Premier? Well, I've got those. And then just some, there's my scales for weighing my yarn. A broken light bulb that I need to throw away. And a box of patterns. Okay, now here's the new addition to my yarn room family. As you can see, it's a new wall. Whoops, sorry about that. And I bet you would like to know what's behind the wall. <laughs> it's a door. I've got a door right there. It was that entrance way that came in from my front, but it's kind of it's kind of nice now because now I actually have a closet on the other side of this wall of yarn I've made. So, <laughs> This, everything in the middle on the shelves is ice yarn. Everything right there. Everything on the right, kind of in that little corner space, all of those are big twist. And everything over here, I've got some, um, oh, what is that? It's like Plymouth, some kind of Plymouth roving, roving yarn. A couple of skeins that Kim gave me in this swap. Some Hirschner's Pastry Puffs, some cookies, some lollipops, and those were presents from my mom. And some, uh, oh, I forget what you call that. That one on the bottom, that's Noro too, but it's the really expensive kind. And there's my hemp right there, right above the Noro, and a uh, couple other yarns. I've got some more Hirschners and Willow yarns in there. And of course, those go all the way down. And those are like some Mary Maxim yarns. Okay. Oh, this is just, I've shown you this, like, but let's just, let's just take a look at some yarn porn, shall we? It, it it just doesn't doesn't get get any better than this than looking at yarn. Okay, now this stuff right here, that chair on the left has a tripod kind of type thing that I put my camera on sometimes and take pictures in this room. I've got a basket of whips and FOs that I either need to um actually they're mostly FOs that I need to um, give to whoever I'm going to give them to. <laughs> oh, there's my sheet yarn with, what is this? Oh, it's like one of my little wool likes. I need to put that where it goes. That is a basket full of plastic. Um, the one that has the sheet cover on it. I made a sheet cover for this basket so I would have like a lid for it. And it has all of my um, plastic bags that I'm going to make into plarn in it. Um, that's my sheet basket. That's, I'm, I'm working on that rug a little more. It wasn't, this rug is a little flimsy. I made it with big yarn and I've washed it a lot. So I'm going to try to do some top stitching on it to make it a little more not as like holy. So it's, it's working pretty well. I don't have the spot on it that um, I've done so far, but that's for a later date. Uh, this, let me scoot my chair in. Oh, you, <laughs> here's some rugs I've made. My Napoleon Dynamite moon boots with the fur. Do, 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 rugs. There's my chair 
that I use in the mornings and I set my computer on, my laptop, and I see that rug right there, it's perfect for the hardwood floor because I just slide it over there. I was sitting over there, but I'm gonna move it to over here to sit because um, I like that chair better. But yeah, it just slides on the wood floor. It doesn't scratch the floor when I slide it. <sighs> so that's my high hi-fi um, studio there. Oh, there's another plant right there that I need to figure out something to do with in my living room. <laughs> it's a jungle in here. So I would like to get far back enough to where you could see. Oh, my living room's a mess. Don't look at it. <laughs> So yeah, that's what's going on in that corner now. And that corner. So it's all very well organized. The only, you know, I figured out what the deal is, is that I have way more coming in than I have going out. And I just need to figure out a good flow, which means I am going to need to, number one, set up my Etsy shop to where it is actually usable and viable. Two, um, I haven't figured out two yet. So that's my list of things so far. <laughs> oh, oh, and uh, take everybody these things that I'm going to give them to. Oh, I didn't show you my... Uh, my whip caddy, yes, this is another thing of whips right there. Every single one of those bags has a whip. My uh, my granny square bag, of course, is full of granny squares. Oh, that little skirt is done. That's my little skirt that I made from my friend Nor from Instagram from a pattern test. It's just adorable. It's for an 18 month old. <sighs> There's this top shelf is my mosaic shelf. That's where I have all my mosaic whips. Going down here, well, there's this is just extra yarn for whips that I'm currently in progress with. And this down here is more of the same whips, yarn for whips. So yeah, still my my goal oh, <laughs> spin along with getting that gone, is to get all of these piles of things gone and to make my room manageable. So I think it can be done. It's just, uh, I need to change my habits a little, which I will keep you apprised of <laughs> every step of the way. Oh, there's my tutorial arm. I got it out today. I haven't quite figured out how to use it yet but I'm going to, and uh, oh, there's my scarf and sweater and a bag of camera stuff. And what's this? This is, oh, it's another whip, huh, surprise. Yarn makes me happy. Oh, and look at this little bag. It has a little grommet right there, so you can just like pull your yarn out of that. It's like you get to pull the yarn right out of the belly button. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn this off and turn it around. Okay, so, so you can tell the lighting's a little bit better. I brought out my lights so that I could finish up this video for you guys. So, what do you think? What do you think about my new and improved and almost done yarn room? Still a few things to go on to get done. My uh, plants up on the top of that shelf and, uh, of course getting some flow through my room. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get that done. Now, the next thing up on the agenda today that I've been putting off because I don't know how to use that wonky tutorial arm is to figure out that tutorial arm and to make a tutorial for this easy peasy one hour make stocking. And uh it's very, very easy, easy peasy, and 
<laughs> it takes a tiny bit of yarn and a tiny bit of fluff fur yarn, but I'll give you all the details. But the, the best thing is you can make it like in two minutes. I mean, 60 minutes. <laughs> so that will be my second tutorial ever. And I'm pretty excited about it. Fingers crossed. All right. Well, I guess so. Since I did not finish Vlogtober and today is November 1st, I'm going to um, call this Vlogtober 24th through the 31st. <laughs> is that fair of me? Is that I'll take a vote from you guys. Should I finish the Vlogtobers and just call this 24? Or should I just be done with Vlogtober, call this an 8 in 1, <laughs> and start with November? I'm leaning on that, but I'll do what you guys want me to do. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure I'd find something. But you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you so much for going on this yarny tour with me. And did I tell you guys how much I appreciate you today? And how much I love you? Because I do. Uh, thank you so much for coming to my lives every morning. And uh, it's the, really the best way to wake up and start the day. Is coffee and you guys and yarn talk and just... <sighs> being able to relax a little bit before the day starts. So, uh, you guys, oh, oh, I also wanted to let you know that, um, yarn hookers, I had a couple people ask me where they can find this week's, uh, yarn hookers. Just look in the description below. I will have links to